Jonas Club, so the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2023 event is here on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And I'm not going to be showing you live duels today, but I will be showing you replays. And yeah, um, I started from level 7, because I didn't go to Diamond um, in the previous season. But, you know, it's fine. Like, 11's fine. So I'm going to try and get to 20, even though it may be impossible with Dark Magician and Blue Eyes, because every duel is just basically t elements. Anyway, before I show those replays, I would like to talk about Opera GX. Opera GX is on a mission to get people to break up with boring browsers like Chrome, Edge, and Safari. You can have fun while browsing, you know? And Opera GX is not for everyone, but if you game, it's time to stop browsing like a lame and get with a real one. Opera GX offers you endless, and I mean endless, customization. With GX mods, you can flip your entire browser 1A with just one click to anything you want. Want your fire sounds when you type? We got you. Want to turn your browser into an arcade? Done. Pick one of many mods added to Opera GX or create your own that suits you best. Browser sounds for opening new tabs, shaders that give your screen a cyber psychosis or a cracked glass look, cool wallpapers, even the ability to change the background in your Discord in the sidebar. The GX.mod selection has it all. Enhance performance on your PC when gaming with your browser open and get rid of lag. Perfect when you want to keep several tabs open but don't want your browser to hurt your gaming performance. The GX control panel allows you to limit the CPU and RAM you are willing to let the browser use. Stay up to date with free games, the best deals, the newest releases and breaking gaming news all in one easily accessible place. You can easily switch between platforms and also see the upcoming games in the release calendar. If you're interested in using the coolest browser ever, download Opera GX from the link in the description or from the pinned comment down below. Get ready because a lot of duels <laughs> are against Telemans, of course, because you know, pretty much everyone's using Telemans. I'm also seeing Exosisters a lot. Like, I haven't really ran into Exosisters in the longest time, I'm not gonna lie. Also, I added um, Pot of Prosperity in um, my Dark Magician deck because why not? I just thought of it. So here, I'm keeping this duel even though my opponent couldn't really do too much um, because it is against Telemans and my opponent, I believe my opponent got bricked. So yeah, you love to see it because you know my opponent's using Telemans. So I use Pot of Prosperity, which I should have added to my Dark Magician deck a long time ago, but yeah. Um, it's not the best options, I'm not gonna lie, but got Maxi, so I set down, um, three cards. Then my opponent could finally do something, so they used that Tillman's card and sent There Can Be Only One back, which I'm kind of fine with, because There Can Be Only One isn't too great against, um, Tillman's. I mean, it, it is, but it depends when, like, depends what the, um, Tillman's play has already done, you know? Um, but yeah. Here my opponent went to Fusion Summon, so I quickly used Max C and Skill Drain, and yeah, my opponent could not negate it. So I Special Summoned, and then went to use that effect, nah. So they attacked me, and it's fine, you know. And here my opponent set down, well, put one monster face down, defense position. Um, so I got Dark Magical Circle Soul Servant, just so I can banish that Telemans monster. So I got um, Magician Salvation, I found it with Dark Magical Circle. Then I use Magician Souls to send Dark Magician from my deck to the graveyard. And then my opponent used Maxi. Uh, so I used Ash Blossom. And yeah, Dark Magician, I'm pretty much going to banish this fusion with Dark Magical Circle. Attack this uh, face down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this could be another Tillamance player. I don't know. I, I just... People are getting so creative. I don't know if... It's in one of these replays, I don't remember, but someone was using Sprite and Tillaments and Ashizu, and it's just like, bruh, can you just, can you just not for one second, like, can you just not? <laughs> Honestly, it's just getting so ridiculous, man, it's just like, what, what is bro doing? So here, my opponent summoned that stupid Exosister card. And they got that from their deck to their hand. And then they sit down two cards, banished my maxi. I guess they had to activate that effect in that turn. They can't activate it now, so I guess that makes sense. Um, so I used Preparation of Rights, which I only have one copy now because I took out the other copy for Pot of Prosperity. So my opponent summoned those two monsters. So I got Illusion of Chaos from my deck to my hand. I can't move cards from my graveyard or something so yeah so i summoned magician's rod and i got secrets of dark magic 
I went to use it. So, I was a bit wacky here. I was, I was pretty worried about monster effects. So I summoned Illusion of Chaos just to negate a monster effect. So here, I Link Summoned into um, Artemis. And I set down two cards and played Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Just so my opponent cannot play spell cards. And also, my opponent cannot play spell casters now because of rivalry. So yeah. Um, so I pretty much stopped my opponent unless they can get over 2,500 um, defense. So here I used my effect. And my opponent used infinite permanence. I guess they thought it wasn't worth using infinite permanence on um, Magician's Rod. But I guess that makes sense to be honest. So here they got that from their deck to the hand, that trap card. They set down a card, set down another card. And I guess they couldn't play the trap card because of rivalry. So I summoned Magician's Rod and my opponent used Maxi and you know, I was fine with that. It's like, alright, well, called by the grave. I forgot I had called by the grave. Actually, never mind. Forget what I said, I was fine with that. I actually was fine with that, never mind. So I used called by the grave and then I banished Maxi. Got negated. And then my opponent left. Feels good. Feels really good. Take that, Exosisters. This duel and the duel after this are... Uh, are a bit long, maybe like seven turns or something. But yeah, just these duels have just been really, really long. Like, they've just been really long. I, like, you know, I want to try and get to level 20, you know? But the thing is, just hate how this came out when um, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom came out. Because I've been playing that game, like, a lot. And ever since this event came out, I haven't really played... Zelda too much. Well, that's not true. I mean, this event came out two days ago. I did play it a lot two days ago. But then today... Oh... Uh, no, sorry. It technically did come out two days ago. But the day after this came out, I didn't play Master Duel nor Zelda because I had stuff to do. So now is another day. I'm recording um, this video. But yeah, just... Bad timing, this event, because I want to play Zelda a lot, but looks like I'm going to be playing Yuga, Master Duel, and Zelda, like, rotating. Or maybe even at the same time, I don't know, that'd be really nice. So here I quickly special summon Dark Magician before my opponent went to main phase 2, just so they cannot play spell cards, and yeah. Um, Harpy's Feather Dust, of course, when my opponent doesn't have spells and traps. Um, but yeah, just... Yeah, I, I want to play a lot of Zelda, but this is out now, so I'll do both. Like, yeah, I haven't played Zelda much in, like, well, I did play it the night this event came out, but not too much. But before that, I was playing it a lot, like, a lot. But yeah, because of this event, <laughs> ah, sorry, my, my tongue. Because of this event, yeah, I'm going to be um, just rotating, I guess. Damn. So here, my opponent cannot destroy my spells and traps, and... Yeah, also, yeah, look, Branded and Telemans. Y'all are getting wacky as, you, you know that, right? Y'all are just getting super wacky. I don't know why my opponent summoned Despian. They just, I feel like this player just had no idea what Eternal Soul did. I, I don't know, but I can't get by 3,000 defense. So I had to get a little wacky. Um, so I do some weird stuff. I know a lot of you are going to go, what the hell? I didn't get skill drain, by the way, because there's no point. I just, yeah. Hmm. You know what I could have done, actually? I should have got Ash Blossom. Summoned Ash. Going to Baron. Just... Yeah. I should have done that. But instead, I think I won an illusion of chaos. You know what? I know what happened here. I realized I actually should have got Ash Blossom, but I thought I could summon Access Code Talker, like, easily. But I realized I couldn't because my opponent had no dark monsters in the grave. I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I did some weird stuff here. Yeah, I just remembered. And also, there wasn't enough spell cards. I, I assumed that there was a lot of spell cards. But, no. I, I Yeah, that was a misplay. 
I should have got Ash Blossom and then targeted the fusion, destroy it, negate this monster's effect from making the attack zero. Um, but yeah, so, but I still summoned Access Code Talk. I just went to destroy these two fusions, basically. Um, and yeah, they summoned Fallen of Elbaz. So that's when I used there can be only one. Um, so my opponent got rid of Elbaz and the effect couldn't go through, I guess, because of there can be only one, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's just, it's awesome. So I used Eternal Soul to summon Dark Magician. But yeah, I was just sort of thinking about stuff and yeah. So I don't know. I guess I'm, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it was just, it was a bit weird. I just assumed that there was a lot of spell cards and a dark monster in my opponent's graveyard, but no. It wasn't. <laughs> just, yeah. Every time I see Tillament, I sort of get a little, oh, like, panicky a little. Um, but yeah. Oh, I still won, so whatever. Should have summoned Dark Magician the Dragon Knight attack and then attacked the Dark Magician to get the animation, but it's fine. Yeah, Branded and... <laughs> Oh my god, Branded and Tillaments. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you really just see everything with Tillaments. Everything. Dragoon is banned. Alternative Ultimate Dragon cannot come into Yuga Master Duel, which I am going to be making a video about that. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow night I'll make that video where I talk about some stuff. So my opponent used um, Maxi, which I was fine with. Um, I didn't negate it because with uh, Called by the Grave because I didn't want my Maxi getting negated the next turn or even here, you know. So yeah. Um, so I I didn't play Magician Souls because I didn't want a special summon, you know. Um, that's pretty much why, because my opponent used Maxi. So I, I, I wanted to wait. I could have sent Dark... No, no, no. no. I could have sent Dark Magician from my um, deck to the graveyard. Yes, that's true. But I'm paranoid that they'll target my Eternal Soul and banish it. And then, yeah, my monsters get destroyed. So I'd rather just my opponent destroy Dark... Ma or destroy or banish Dark Magical Circle. So yeah, I was very paranoid about Dark Magician being in the graveyard as well. And also keeping Eternal Soul in the field. Not yet, you know? Because um, of this. Basically that. So yeah, my opponent um, got rid of Dark Magical Circle, like I said, which I was fine with. I'll cook later. So here my opponent went to use their effect, and I used Ash Blossom. And yeah, got negated, which was nice. And here my opponent attacked me directly. And also, this, um, I think if a card gets moved out of the graveyard, that's when some stuff happens. So that was another reason why I didn't send Dark Magician. Yeah, out of their graveyard, except during the... Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much another reason why I didn't do what I did with Dark Magician. Um, so I used Preparation of Rites, and I got Illusion of Chaos. Um, I used Illusion of Chaos to get Magician's Rod. Then here I summoned something I have not summoned in a long time. Uh, also, my opponent used Infinite Permanence, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, if I had um, Dark Magician on the field... No, would have been fine, but yeah. Because I would have used um, Secrets of Dark Magic. So, But I wanted to wait. I was scared that my opponent was going to play something that says banish one card and it's not targeting. So no matter what I do, they'll always banish something. So yeah. But no, I'm free. So I summoned Master of Chaos, which I've not done in a very long time. Because um, usually my opponents leave if I lock them with Secret Village and all that. But yeah, just these games... I've just been so long, it's crazy. So my opponent used Ogre. Um, and then, yeah. Got negated and called by the grave. I summoned the Magician's Rod because I wanted to summon something stronger. So I summoned um, Dark. And then I attacked. And attacked. And then I brought Dark Magician with Eternal Soul. I could have brought Dark Magician with um, Master of Chaos, but i rather, you know bring Dark Magician with Eternal Soul. So I set down Skill Drain, and if my opponent has a monster, GG. Yep, GG. 
Feels good. Feels good. Get out of here, Exosister. Get out of here. Then my opponent was like, all right, no, nah, couldn't do the math. <laughs> just, they'll just like finish me. Just, just finish me. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll finish you, I guess. So I summoned to my, I could have just finished my opponent easily, but you know, because my opponent's using Exosister, I just wanted to show off a little. Just a little, you know. Plus, I'm using Dark Magician. You can't compare Exosisters to Dark Magician. So I attacked, and then I got the animation of Dark Magician. That's going to be the last replay, and then I'll show you my deck at the end of uh, this replay. It's against Branded. So, yeah, I've been seeing Branded, Exosisters, and Tillaments a lot in the event, which is pretty nuts so here very bricked unfortunately so I used dark magical circle and I found soul servant I could have set down soul servant to get um, magician souls but I wanted to wait I wanted to use um, dark magical circle with um, soul servant and also wanted maxi to go through so yeah um, was there something at the top that I wanted or Oh yeah, I, I guess I wanted that as well. Like I didn't want to change my deck order, which is another reason why I didn't use um, Soul Servant. Like, I mean, I didn't set down Soul Servant and then use it before my opponent ends their turn. And then I get like Magician Souls as the top of my deck. But yeah, I guess I wanted there can be only one just in case. And yeah, my opponent got rid of um, Dark Magical Circle. And yeah. So another player that didn't summon um, Mirror Jade. So yeah, Shadol and um, Branded, I guess. So here I got Dark Magician, which is really nice. So I used Dark Magical Circle, and then I played um, Soul Servant to add um, Secret of Dark Magic to the top of my deck. Yep. So I got that, and then I played Magician Salvation. I didn't like the order in my top three, so I changed it with Magician Salvation. And I summoned um, Tamias by getting rid of Dark Magician Girl. And I summoned Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. And I banished um, Shadol because it has a graveyard effect. And I summoned Dark Magician Girl because I summoned Dark Magician. And I have Magician Salvation on the field. So here I use Soul Servant to draw two cards. And yeah, I just got a bunch of trap cards. And it's like, oof, for my opponent, you know. These can't be destroyed. So yeah. Um, I was thinking about using Secrets of Dark Magic, but I was like, nah, I'll wait. Because it's best my opponent, just just in case, you know? Just in case. Just, yeah, my, like, nothing can be touched now. Like, my spells and traps, well, this is on the field, and yeah, this protects Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. So my opponent played this, which was perfect, because obviously my opponent's going to be um, summoning a Dark Monster, right? So with Gozen, it's like, well... Since you're summoning a wind monster after this, like, well, uh, sorry, before this now, uh, before this goes off, you can only summon uh, wind monsters now. So you uh, <laughs> basically locked yourself because, yeah, you can only play wind monsters. Unrelated, well, actually not unrelated, but I'm so glad I don't see adventure anymore. I hate adventure. I know you can say, oh, I hate everything, but that's not true. But I do hate, I do hate adventure, branded, teal <laughs> Blonderies, I can go on and on, but yeah. Right, so this is the deck I was using. Um, pretty much the same thing, like I said before, except I took out one preparation of rights and I replaced it with Pot of Prosperity, which has been really nice, as you can see in the replays. I did get a bit of man results sometimes with it, but that's just unlucky, unfortunately. But all right, going to end it here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.